plant a seed and watch it grow. One dollar is all it takes to make a difference. Visit www.worshipcenterradio.net and click the banner on the right hand side and sow a seed to Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. This is Bishop R.J. Shackleford, and I want you to know I got some great good news for you. I am so pumped up and excited about the great things that God is doing in my life. I want you to know you cannot forget this, that God is blessing Worship Center Radio right now. Love you. One, two, one, two, three. I'm so, so excited about this awesome ministry where you're going to be expecting people getting healed and delivered and set free. There will be some instantaneous miracles that's going to happen to you. I'm talking about from all over this world. God is going to do this and he's going to do it now. So you definitely need to tune and stay into what's about to take place with this powerful packed program. Miracles for me now. You've been disappointed. You've been hurt. I'm back in Jesus' name. This is Miracles for Me Now with Bishop R.J. Shackleford. I am excited. You know I am. You know I am. I am so elated. It is time. It is time. It is time. It is time for your miracle in Jesus' name. Pick up the phone and call somebody and tell them that Miracles for Me Now is on air. God bless you. God bless you for tuning in tonight. It's going to be awesome tonight. We got our special guest that's going to be calling in from South Africa. Hello, God bless you, South Africa. Thanks. God bless you. It's after 2 in the morning there, and you're listening to Miracles from Me Now with Bishop R.J. Shackleford. It is absolutely going crazy in this studio. I'm excited. God bless you, South Africa. God bless you, China. God bless you, Asia. God bless you, Pakistan. God bless you, India. God bless you, my hometown city of Detroit. All America is listening in Jesus' name. What a night it's going to be. Whatever time it may be. It may, it's morning time in South Africa right now. It's morning time in India and Pakistan right now. But right now, here in the city of Detroit, it's a few minutes after 8 p.m. And I'm telling you, something is going to happen like crazy. Well, I thank God for my mom. God bless you, Mom. Annie Ruth, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you for my dad, Bishop Robert L. Shackleford Sr. If it wasn't for those two wonderful people, I wouldn't be here dancing and praising God in Jesus' name. Woo! I tell you, I am excited tonight. Are you ready for your miracle? I'm talking to you. Are you ready for your miracle? Well, I thank God that you're listening tonight for your miracle. My guest tonight is going to be calling in momentarily, but before my pastor that's going to call in from South Africa. You see what God is doing? Woo, we going to have a knockdown drag out. We teaming up tonight. But I want to just thank God for all of my um, partners and my listeners for tuning in tonight. God bless you. Thank you so much. You know who I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you and you and even you. God bless you. I thank you so much uh, for tuning in tonight. We have so much to pray for. We've been, um, this past week, uh, it's been such a wonderful, awesome week, but at the same time, uh, um, doing, uh, preparing for funerals and home-going services. Uh, I tell you what, God is blessing His people in Jesus' name. And I want you to know that tonight. Do you need a miracle tonight? Do you need a miracle right now? Let me tell you something. I know the word of God said in Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong, <clears throat> strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. You can be safe in Jesus. 
I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what it looked like. You can be safe in Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Oh, I'm talking to you, South Africa. It's safe. I don't care what you're going through. There is nothing too hard for God. And Jesus even said, if you believe, there's nothing impossible for you too. It is your season. It is your hour to be blessed. It is your time to walk into your destiny and your purpose in God. I've got testimonies that have been coming through all week long. God has been blessing folks from across the border, from border to border. It is your time to be blessed. It is your season to be blessed. Hear this word tonight. Tonight in Jesus' name. I can't wait tonight. There's a mighty word that's coming from South Africa tonight. In Jesus' name, I want to say this right quick before we get carried away. I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be in um, the city of Detroit in a one-day blessing and healing prophetic service. That September. 20th, Sunday, September 20th at 4 p.m. I'm coming back to my hometown on a big crusade in Jesus' name. I want you there. It's going to be at 7200 Hopper Avenue, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. That's a Prophetic Corner Deliverance Ministry International. Again, that's Sunday, September 20th at 4 p.m. at Prophetic Corner Deliverance Ministry. Ministries International. I want to see you there. I want you there. I'm talking to you, Detroit. I'm talking to you, Mount Clemens. I'm talking to you, Clinton Township and the surrounding cities, Ham Tramming, Highland Park. Oh, I'm talking to you and all the saints at Zogria Family Church and all my prayer partners. That's going to be an afternoon of power of my blessing and healing prophetic service will be September 20th at 4 p.m. 7200, again, Hopper Avenue, City of Detroit, in Jesus' name. Well, I'm excited again. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Let me tell you something. Last week, last week um, um, on our prayer line, and listen, of course, don't you don't want to turn the channel um, because it, our announcer is going to talk about the our prayer line. But last week, it was so powerful. <clears throat> and the Lord gave a word, and the next day God began to show forth his power in Jesus' name. The name of this program is Miracles for Me Now. And God's people have been receiving miracles. They're coming under this anointing in Jesus' name. And they've been receiving miracles. I'm getting testimonies from Pakistan. I'm getting testimonies. Yes, I. Oh, absolutely. I'm talking to you, you um, UK, England. Yes, Israel. I'm talking to you in the name of Jesus. All America, Canada. I'm talking to you. You've been waiting for God to come your way. Do you believe? I said Proverbs 18. It says 18 and 10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. God is strong. God is mighty. God is strong and God is mighty. And I want you to realize that. God is strong and God is mighty. We can run. We are safe in the name of the Lord. I don't care what it looks like. It doesn't matter how hard the situation may be. It doesn't matter. Oh my God, it doesn't matter. The name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. We as righteous sons and daughters of God, we can run into the Lord. We can go into the Lord. We can seek him. We can abide in him. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We can come unto him. And we are safe in Jesus' name. Yes, we are. I believe it in Jesus' name. I'm talking to somebody right now that had a hard time, hard week. Tonight, this morning, is your breakthrough. I said, it's, 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 it's your breakthrough in Jesus' name. I'm talking to you, Ypsilanti. Oh, yes, I'm talking to you, Kent, Michigan. I am talking to you. Yes, I am, Moreau, Michigan. Tonight, right now, this moment is your hour of miracles and deliverance in Jesus' name. We was talking about in Jesus' name a couple of weeks ago. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The mighty breakthrough. We was talking about faith in Jesus. The God kind of faith. The God kind of faith. Not man faith. Not American faith. Not just believing. We're talking about the God kind of faith. Jesus said when you pray, believe that you have it already. That's the kind of faith in Jesus' name. That's right. He said, the faith that moved mountains. That's the kind of faith 
We've been praying off and on uh, throughout the day for so many people. Thanks that's going through. I want to tell you, those that are listening today, that, that we've been praying for all day. I want to tell you, believe and you shall be healed. Believe and you shall be delivered. Believe and you shall be set free. Believe. Believe in the name of the Lord. Believe in Jesus. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Cape Town, South Africa, do you hear me tonight? Do you hear me this morning? Believe in your breakthrough will come in Jesus' name. I know you need a breakthrough. I know you need. I know you need. I know you want. Listen, we need to listen. We need to walk closer and closer and closer and closer and closer with Jesus. That's the key. Walk closer and closer to Jesus. That's the key. When we walk closer and seek his face, that's right, and live a li- have a lifestyle of prayer, a lifestyle of seeking him, a lifestyle of calling on the name of the Lord, a lifestyle, that's the glue. That's right, that's the glue to Jesus. That's the glue that this sticks to a lifestyle. A lifestyle. When you're happy, when you're sad, when you're glad, when you're mad, you have a lifestyle of prayer. A lifestyle of seeking God. That's where the power, that's where it happens. It, it is time, as you know I'm about to say, for us to display the power of God. Listen to me. Listen to me. It is time that we display the power of of God. It takes for us to have a lifestyle of power and prayer. A lifestyle. Be not weary, the Bible says, in well doing. Don't give up. Don't give up in Jesus' name. Don't give up. Don't let go. You can. I said you can. Did Jesus say you can't? Right. People are telling you can't. You can. You can fulfill your purpose in God. You can mount up. You can live a victorious life. You can walk in your walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. You can exhibit Jesus right now here on earth. You can. You are that window. Set up a display. That, 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 that shows forth the power of God, that shows forth the love of God, that shows forth the peace of God, that demonstrates him signs, wonders, and miracles. It is not out of style. We make it seem like it is. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Oh, my God, it's in the body of Christ. It's, in the, it's the only institution that represents God. Hallelujah. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Is in the body of Christ. And it's time for every believer, every individual believer to believe that and let God work it through you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I know that I know that I know it is your time to display and show forth the power of God. Signs, wonders, and miracles. I'm getting ready to go into the hospital, not because I'm sick. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not sick. I am well, but I'm ready to go to the hospital and go from room to room and pray. Glory to Jesus Christ. Did you hear what I said? Because I believe God's word. I believe God's word. Why don't you do the same? Come on, come on out the four walls and show forth the power of God. That's right. Signs, wonders, and miracles show forth the power of God. I'm getting ready to do that. Lord God, we give you praise. God, we give you praise. God, we give you praise. Nobody's scared. Nobody's mad. We are excited that God has filled us with his spirit that we can show forth Jesus Christ right here on earth. We can show forth the power of the Holy Spirit on our job, in our home, in the hospital. That's right. We're, 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 we're good inside the four walls of our church. We're great. We're awesome. We know. We can do that. I am talking about Saints, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Show forth the power of God through signs, wonders, and miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I 
<coughs> received a phone call, several calls today, and um, that so many people uh, were sick and afflicted. Well, they believe in the power of God, but they also believe in the person that lives a lifestyle of power and prayer. I believe God. I know God. I trust God. I believe His Word. God wants us to be the same way. To be the same way. You believe Him. You trust Him. Well, God wants to work miracles in your life. Show forth signs and wonders and miracles through you. Oh, come on now. I'm, I'm <laughs> I know it feels good that uh, we, you know, we come together on Sundays, and that is what we should do. Uh, whatever day of the week that you, at the, uh, your local assembly, come together and worship the Lord. It feels wonderful when we're supposed to do that. But I want, I want to say that when you are not in the four walls with the saints, let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit doesn't stop working. He doesn't shut off. No, no, no. You, you, know, you know, he doesn't shut off because, you know, a Sunday morning service is over with. He wants to continue to show forth. He wants to continue to be known, to be seen, to make visible in your life through you. Not just Sunday. No, 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 no. Not just Sunday for a couple hours. I'm talking about Monday. I'm talking about the, every day of the week. That's right. Every day of the week, the Bible declares, the Bible talks about how the saints, I mean, it was not, not necessarily on Sundays, on any day of the week, the Bible declared in the first century in the book of Acts, how the Lord just began to use his saints, how he used the apostles, how do you, how do he, how, how Lord, the Lord used the church, used them mightily, used them, I said he used them mightily, glory to King Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. God wants to be seen. God wants to be known. God wants to show forth his power in you. Do you hear me? I said, do you hear me? I, 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 you know what I want to do? I just, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is listening. Hallelujah. Stir up everyone that is listening. In Jesus' name. Let me take this call right now. Hallelujah. Well, welcome to Miracles for Me Now. This is Bishop Shackleford. Who are you? Hello? Good uh, evening, Bishop Shackleford. This is Dr. Louisa This is Dr. Well, grace and peace. We give God praise for the pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thanks of the most high. All of you from South Africa. Well, good, good, good morning to you. We welcome you. Our audience welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All America welcome you. God bless you. I want to say, how are you this morning, pastor? I am so supremely blessed after struggling to get through, but praise God, nothing can hold a, a child of God back when you do have a purpose. I thank him for sharing this evening with you people in the USA. Well, I, I am so delighted and elated that you are with me. We're joining in tonight and this morning um, to let the people know that their miracles is right at the door. God wants to do a mighty work for you. Folks, I want to, I want to I, first of all, I do want to welcome my guest from all the way from South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa. She's the pastor of uh, Perfecting Church International Ministries and um, in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, and we welcome you, Pastor, and, and I want you to feel welcome. We have a huge audience that's waiting to hear the word of God. So, God bless you, Pastor. <laughs> Let God, what is God saying tonight? What is God speaking to your heart about, Pastor? Amen. There is so much I want to share this 
evening, it's the morning time with us, so bear with me if I mention so now and then morning. That's all right. I might find myself at my own place, but God bless you. Thank you again, Bishop Shekhar, for, for this opportunity. I want to share with your people and the listeners and the saints and those who belong to the body of Christ. Tonight I want to share with them the, 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 the perfection of the Holy Spirit. You know why God shared this with me? For one simple reason, the time that we live in, this is the time when Jesus said, I have to go and sing my spirit as the comforter. Hallelujah. And I thank God tonight because without the comforter, the Holy Spirit, there won't be no signs and wonders. Because if you look in Genesis itself, the very first book, in the first chapter, when God was doing creation, He works with the Holy Spirit. And the moment when He speaks to say, let there be light, there was light. If you even read further on, you will see that was the prophet, the prophet in the Old Testament, God, at all times, when He gave them an assignment, He made use of the Holy Spirit. And, 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 and they said when the Holy Spirit comes upon them, they could do the work of God. And tonight, I want to speak to the listeners, to, to the global tonight. I want to tell them tonight, it's useless going church. It's useless to think that you have God. It is useless to think that you can do it on your own. We serve a, a holy trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And as you believers believe in signs, and wonders. The word of God says, when my spirit comes upon you, greater things you will do than I do. God has got reason why he releases his power, his spirit in the latter days for his church, for his body, because the body of Christ needs the Holy Spirit. He says that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive strength. You will receive power. And greater than that, it's not only the power, but He says it will come with a fire. And it makes me think of Elijah when Jezebel was, 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 was trying to put him on a bad spot. He runs to God. And, and God gave him that assurance. He says, Elijah, my prophet, go back to Jezebel. Go and confront her because I am with you. And with the time of the signs and wonders, when, when, when he was calling on his God, not only did God listen to his prayer, but he released a fire from heaven that consumed every evilness and it burns the answer that they bought with water, which means that even normal water or whatever water can't wash away fire, the Holy Ghost fire, because it is some specialty that God trusts His church with. The Holy Spirit comes to glorify Christ and to lead the believers into all truth. On the evening of the crucifixion, while still in the upper room, the Lord says to His disciples, the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit comes to enable you to know Christ through a new birth and to give you the power to love and share the abundant life which Jesus promised to all who trust and obey him. Amen. I believe that the church can't work without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit inspires holy men to write the word of God. And through the Holy Spirit, the, the understanding, the depths of the scripture is coming forth. 
and it brings the human mind to understanding. The Holy Spirit makes the world, the Word of God, relevant and meaningful when you need it. We cannot expect God to answer prayers unless we are walking in the Spirit. But, hallelujah, and I trust God tonight that the church is in agreement with me. The listeners is in agreement with me. In the days that we live in, we need the Holy Spirit. He did not let His Spirit come for no reason. There's purpose because He knows that the church, the church, His bride, his body, his kingdom will be strengthened. That will be such a powerful tool. The Holy Spirit itself. And I praise God for that. I cannot live a holy life apart from from the hour of the Holy Spirit. For the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is joy and peace. It is patience. It is kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. And, 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 and give you a spirit of self-control. Hallelujah. And like I said, the Holy Spirit was the reason to exalt and glorify Jesus Christ. I praise God. And, and you know what, uh, Bishop uh, uh, Robert, as I speak tonight to, to, to the global I also want to tell them this, the Holy Spirit is God. He is not an it. He is not a divine influence. He is not a fleecy white cloud. He is not a ghost or a concept. He is a person possessing a warm intellect and emotion. Holy. He is God with all the attributes of deity. He is also the third person of the Trinity. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. There is only one God, but He manifests Himself in three persons whom we call the Trinity. I praise God for that. He is our God. He is our Savior. He is our Deliverer. It was Jesus of Nazareth Himself who said, unless a man is born of water and spirit, he, he cannot enter the kingdom. It is impossible for you to become a Christian, to understand the Bible, and to other spiritual truths, to pray, to love a holy life, to witness or to do anything for the Lord Jesus Christ, apart from the person of the Holy Spirit of God. We need the Holy Spirit. And as I understand that the kingdom that I minister at to today, they are miracle believers. And I trust tonight those who hear the word of God, that God will give them an understanding tonight so that clarity will come to them. God will clear their vision for them through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I thank God. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. And that causes me to abide in Christ. I walk in the Holy Spirit. It causes me to wear the light of Christ and have the blood of Jesus Christ. The, the Holy Spirit keeps on cleansing us from all unrighteousness. And the Holy Holy Spirit causes us to be holy. That is why God says, I am holy yes. and I want my nation to be a holy nation. I thank God for that. Yes. If you are controlled, not as a robot, but as one who, who, who is led and empowered by the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus will walk around in your body and look. His resurrection life in and through you. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Not only do you receive a supernatural power for witnessing when you are filled with the Spirit, but your personality also begins to change as you continue to walk in the control and the power of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit becomes increasingly obvious in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, USA, 
every listener, it is really an honor to share this thought with you that God gave to me. This thought that is not only a thought, but it's also a principle in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. If you really want to experience supernatural power, you have to believe in the Holy Spirit. You have to have a true and clean and righteous relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Because we've learned by the Holy Spirit that we are not walking by sight, but we walk by faith in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit has the power to increase your faith. Even in the times when revelation strikes, you will stand firm. Even in times when it feels it became too much, you shall Stand because the Holy Spirit will stand for you. It shall give you the strength to overcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, you can't separate from God, the Father, and the Son, Jesus Christ. I trust that you are blessed tonight with this word. USA, whoever listens tonight, whoever receives the power, whoever stands tonight ready, hallelujah, I declare tonight that the Holy Spirit shall tonight come and take his rightful place in your body, in your situation, wherever you find you, I command tonight in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. that your spirit will make room for the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is true. The Holy Spirit is faithful. The Holy Spirit is God himself. Hallelujah. If I also, also think of the fall in the third chapter of Genesis, God did not come to demolish us, but he has come so that we may have life and life in abundance. And he said to himself, I must find a solution. Hallelujah. And you know, before I am going to end, he says uh, that he needs uh, a, a, a person uh, to pregnant that person with the Holy Spirit so that his work can become flesh. Uh, and I thank God tonight for Mary and for Joseph. Uh, but the Holy Spirit was actually the Spirit uh, that makes Mary pregnant. Uh, that is why the angel of God appears to Joseph to make it certain with him that what is within her is through the Holy Spirit. Uh, and she shall give birth uh, because it is a decision from God. And to my church, uh, I claim and proclaim a pregnancy in the atmosphere. And the church shall have the power through the Holy Spirit to give birth, to give birth, so that those who are in bondage be set free, the yes. captivity is redeemed, to release those and heal them, hallelujah, God, i bless you tonight for who you are, America, God bless you tonight, America, God bless you tonight, God bless South Africa, yes. God bless the Lord. And remember that we can't do it uh, without the Holy Spirit. Uh, at the time when Jesus walked his ministry, he could only be at Nazareth, when he was in Nazareth. And then he has to walk a mile or some miles uh, to Samaria, to Judea. But the Holy Spirit can be at a place at any time yes. when you call him, yes. when you welcome him in, he will appear yes. because he is God. God bless you, America. God bless South Africa. God bless your team, Bishop Shackleford. Yes. And thank you once again for this opportunity. May the good shepherd take care 
over you and your flock ah. in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the blessed shall call you blessed because you are blessed. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 I receive it. We receive it. Well, pa- Pastor, could you could you pray? Could you pray again? Just just could you pray? Uh, and 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 make those, there are so many that's out there that may not even know the Lord. Uh, could you just take a few mm-hmm. minutes and minister salvation? And um, uh, just just go ahead, uh, Pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which is the Hallelujah. greatest miracle? The greatest Thank miracle, so salvation. Heavenly Father. Great are you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Great are you, my Master. Hallelujah. You are the creator of heavens and earth, Lord. Lord, you are the one who decided, God, the final decision. And tonight, God, I pray for salvation. I pray that you will redeem and set him free, my God. I pray tonight, Holy Hallelujah. Spirit, in the name of Jesus, that this, this word of tonight shall come to pass and there shall become life in the unbelievers' heart, my God. I pray tonight, mighty God, that they shall receive you. And if they don't understand, that your spirit shall convict them, my God. I pray, God, set them free. Release them, Heavenly Father. Release them, release Redeem them in the name of Jesus and demolish every stronghold, my God. Demolish every stronghold that combines the kingdom, the power, and And the glory. glory. It belongs unto you in Jesus. Name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Many of you, many of Hallelujah. you have received that word. You in Indonesia and in Africa and uh, uh, in America, uh, in Canada. Many of you are listening in. You have received that word. Listen, listen, listen. This woman of God, this pastor from South Africa preached and ministered a powerful word. Listen, you need to understand what she's saying. The, the miracles, the miracles comes, you know, personal miracles come when you have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. You need to understand that tonight, tonight or this morning, whatever time it may be, in the name of Jesus. I want you to receive this, receive this word. Pastor, what a mighty word. Pastor, I'm telling you, I'm so glad that you and I joined up tonight and this morning, oh my God, to share what God has for you to say. That is a on-time word that, uh, that, that we need to know. We need to know that the Holy Spirit wants to, wants to uh, exhibit the power and the love of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. Come on, saints. You need to understand that. Ah, my God, I feel the presence. I feel the presence. I feel the presence. I feel the presence. I I, I feel the presence of God in the name. I feel the presence of God. I sense right now. There's someone right now. Pastor, there's someone right now across this world right now that's, that heard that word was set free. Was set free from depression. That's right. Set free from depression. Set free from depression. Depression has smothered him and her. Oh, my God. All week long. But they heard the word of God and they submitted to the Holy Spirit. They're believers, but they, they 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 submitted to the flesh. But now they heard this word. Listen, listen. If that's you, I need you need to write. You need to write me. Let me know, Bishop Shackleford at Yahoo.com. Write me. Give me your testimony. You need to tell me. I need to let you know that yes, that word God. was powerful. That word was powerful, Pastor. You, I'm, I, I'm I'm so I can't wait to get to Cape Town. My God, we I know the Lord is releasing <laughs> us to come there next year in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Demonstrate him. My God, thank you so much, Bishop. Thank you so much. You are absolutely. God bless you. Well, I'm glad that we're hooking up in Jesus' name. We're on the same mm-hmm. team. We're on kingdom team, kingdom team in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. And I'm so mm-hmm. excited that you gave a word such fire, <laughs> such anointed, and such truth. 
from God's word. What a preaching mighty machine you are in Jesus' name, folks. I'm telling if you if you enjoy, I, I, I like I like people to respond. I like people. I do. I like a lively crew. If you heard that word tonight, many you can't call in right now. But what you can do, I need you right now. Call this number 734-629-6080. and and just just text text me and tell me that that word was good. That's right. Well, come on, go ahead. 734-629-6080. Say that word was good. That word was good. Or you re- or or you received that word or you you come on in Jesus name. Pastor, I'm so glad for this platform in Jesus name. I'm so glad that over 50,000 countries are tuning in into what you just said. Now, now, I, I'm, oh my my, let me tell you, you with a, a word like that, my God, God is using you in South Africa. God, God is using you, but what he did tonight, he enlarged in your territory. You <laughs> you didn't have to get on a plane tonight to travel all over, but you, God used technology and radio. Listen, <laughs> where you're able to speak to multitudes of people at the same time. Glory to God. My God. Hallelujah. Mm. What a mighty God do we serve? <laughs> what a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! Hallelujah. Mm. Well, but briefly, Pastor, I want the people to know what what's going on in 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 at your church. Which what what what, um, what you've been doing at your church? I think I heard you last week. You was coming out of a conference, and how was that? And uh, I just want the people to be aware of that you are used by God. What's going on at Perfecting Church? Are you are you still there, Pastor? Well, I think we I think we lost. But thanks, I want to thank God for this woman of God for this pastor, Pastor Solomon. Listen, did you hear what she said? The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit wants to glorify Jesus in us. The Holy Spirit wants to reveal and make visible His power in us in Jesus name in Jesus name I want to say that you if you you're saved you, if you 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 claim the name the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit lives in you now we need to submit to him I submit to him I want him to be visible I want him to manifest himself in me you want to do the same thing listen just submit to him read his word believe his word pray and then get up off your knees and that's right. That's right. Demonstrate what you read. Amen. And believe that in Jesus' name. Don't, don't magnify your situation and your circumstance and the hard times and troubles. You magnify Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let it exalt his name together. That's what the word of God says. Let us exalt his name together in Jesus' name. Now, before we end, I want to... I want to, uh, um, I will just want to pray. I know pastor, she prayed, but I want to pray for those that sick in their body. Those that are troubled in the body. We got a call that someone's rushed to the hospital today. On last night in Pakistan, one of the mothers of our, of our ministry of our church um, was, was in the hospital, was rushed to the hospital. An infection in her kidney, I believe. Listen, for people are people need Jesus. People need the power of God. People need healing. God wants to heal you. I want to pray for healing in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. That's right. Let's believe. Let's believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that is dealing with some type of affliction in their body, sickness. I pray in Jesus' name that you heal him and her boys and girls and even babies. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every organs. Line up to the word of God. I speak to your eyes. Line up your ears, your bones, your blood. Line up your heart in Jesus' name. I got an uncle that's laying in the hospital. And the doctor said he need a... a, 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 a three uh, uh, bypass, a triple bypass. I speak healing. I speak healing in your body, Uncle Caesar. Speak healing in your body in Jesus' name. Ah, oh, my God, my God, in Jesus. I speak to those that's having heart problems, heart troubles. Those in Jesus' name that's having skin problems, that's having stomach problems, that's having leg problems, ankle problems. That's right, skin. Oh, my God, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus dispatched their miracles in the name of Jesus. Only you can do it. We believe it in Jesus' name. Man, take up your bed and walk. Woman, take up your bed and walk. Boys and girls, take up your bed and walk in Jesus' name. Come on out of that wheelchair. Throw your crutches away and say bye-bye to them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I speak to liver. I speak to kidneys. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ooh, miracles for you now, miracles for you now, miracles for you now, miracles for you now. The righteous can run into them and they are safe. They are safe. They are safe. You are safe in the hands of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whew, did you receive that word tonight? Oh, did you receive that word? Signs, wonders, and miracles can come. Did you receive that word from Pastor Solomon? Wow. Wow. It is God's desire that the Holy Spirit, God, the Holy Spirit, to, 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 to have free course in your life. It is God, the Holy Spirit. Did you know the Bible said, vex not the Holy Spirit? Don't vex him. Don't trouble him. He wants to have free course in your life. Yes, that's right. That's right. He wants to. He wants to be. He wants you to be full of him. That's right. Full of him. Full of him. Oh my God, I couldn't do what I'm doing with if I didn't have the Holy Spirit having His way in me. Pastor Solomon, she, she couldn't do what she do if she didn't have the Holy Spirit having His way in her. You. Can, f can fulfill your purpose big time big time your miracles can I mean can oh my God can glorify God in you big time when you submit when we submit to the Holy Spirit wow well I'm so, what, a, what a program tonight I am so excited tell you what fear can't hang in your life when you when the Holy Spirit is in control depression cannot hang out in your life no 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 when you are so full of the Holy Spirit no 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 you can't no it can't that's why you free tonight you are free from that you're free Wow I need you to write me that's right right there on the screen there you can click on contact and um, and just write me your testimony, write me your prayer request, or you just write me at Bishop Shackleford at yahoo.com. You can do that and let me know what God has blessed you in Jesus' name. Listen, I want you, don't forget, I need to see you September 20th at 4 p.m. That's right, at 4 p.m. That's Sunday, September 20th, 7200. Hopper Avenue, in Jesus' name, right in the city of Detroit. Listen, we're going to do this again, God's will, on next week. I want to say again, God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Solomon. You are awesome in God. You are awesome in God. Write me, let me know, in Jesus' name. Listen, I'll see you. God bless you. God keep you. I'm excited. i see you. Listen to my announcer, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this powerful pack.
program of Miracles for Me Now. I know you received it tonight. You can also call in in our prayer line every Wednesday from 7 to 8 is Miracle Prayer Line. Dial 302-202. 1092 and the excess code would be 3695613 God bless you this is your bishop bishop RJ Shackleford God bless you